Hey everyone, I'm Sophia Torsolino and thank you so much for joining us. Today I'm joined with Emily and Andrew. So before we get started, I'll get to I'll allow you to get to know a little bit about me. I'm Sophia and I'm a first year student here at Notre Dame. I'm English, I'm majoring at English, and right now I'm at Lions Hall. I'll be moving to Welsh Ram though. Um right now I like I'm here in Indiana, but I am from Guam, so it's really a big major change with the weather. <laughs> so it's still cold here in April, um, but that's just a great adjustment. Um, I did come here though uh, since June. So I'm part of the Balfour Scholars Program here in Notre Dame, and it's a program where about eight weeks in which first year students get to know the campus and take classes here at Notre Dame. So that was a good adjustment for coming here to Notre Dame. Um, and I've also came here as like a QuestBridge uh, finalist. So financial aid has really helped with me being successful out here. And I'm also right now with Notre Dame First Year Advising. We're working on helping you students transition here to Notre Dame. And so if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm happy to. It's hard to follow you. Gosh. Um, hey, folks, I'm Andrew Winnington. I serve as director of first year programs in the Center for University Advising. Um, I'm originally from Bakersfield, California, which is at the bottom end of the San Joaquin Valley in the state. I came out to uh, South Bend in 2010 as a first year student of Notre Dame. I graduated in 2014. I studied sociology and anthropology. And I'm also a 2016 graduate of Notre Dame's ACE Teaching Fellows Program. So I taught elementary school in Chicago for a little while and then came back here to serve with um, or serve and, and work for and work with first year students alongside uh, Sophia and Emily over here. And three big kind of buckets that I do is I help shepherd the Moreau first year experience course, welcome weekend, and then a couple other um, discernment and exploration initiatives with the Center for University Advising. So most importantly, like thank you for being here tonight. Um, and thank you as well for just the grit and the, the dedication and the sacrifice that you've all had to demonstrate in order to be admitted to Notre Dame. I mean, that's, that's not a small feat and so I think all of us are, are just grateful for um, being a part of, of your life thus far. Um, and for those of you who have chosen to join us in August, we're just delighted and, and truly honored um, to be selected. I know you had lots of kind of options on your plate. And so to be the one that you've chosen is, um, is something really special. So thank you. And for those of you who are still kind of deciding, I hope tonight's really helpful for you and, and serves as a great resource and um, kind of gives you some more information so that you can make a confident and wise decision about where you want your mind and your heart to, to be cultivated and challenged and, and really find a home these next couple of years. So I'm Andrew. It's good to see you. I'll turn it over to Emily. Great. Cool. Thank you, Andrew. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Emily Arsini. I am the program director for new student engagement information within the division of student affairs. So I work closely with my wonderful colleague, um, Andrew, on Welcome Weekend and the Moreau First Year Experience course. Um, before that, I served as rector in Pastoral West Hall for four years. Um, like Andrew said, um, thank you for joining us tonight um, and welcome to Notre Dame. Um, this is such a special place and hopefully tonight we can talk more about the wonderful experiences that you are going to encounter now until you come to campus um, in August. So excited to be here with you all tonight. Yes, so with that, I know you students are a little bit worried or maybe scared about getting into the new year. I mean, there's so much happening and so much here to offer. So going forward, what would you have that are immediate steps for these first year students? Immediate steps, yeah. So tonight, tonight's title is kind of like, what's next, right? So <laughs> let's hopefully make this useful for you. Um, so on behalf of advising and, and welcome weekend, Emily and I have the distinct pleasure of being some of the first folks that you'll interact with this summertime. Um, and all of our communications this summer are really a part of a larger scheme of connecting you with the Notre Dame community, both curricularly and co-curricularly as well. Um, and in terms of kind of like the immediate next steps, most of that communication takes place via email and via a new email that you'll have access to beginning in May, which is your Notre Dame Gmail account. Um, so the first couple of days of May, we create these and it's really kind of like your line to students, staff and faculty at, at Notre Dame. And, is like a daily tool, not this just the summertime, but throughout your entire time as, as a student here. Um, and so you'll get a, an email within the first couple of days of May and with a unique link to set this up. And along that, um, you set up kind of a couple of new Notre Dame kind of like passwords and um, identification numbers, which gives you access to all of our online resources and platforms and programs. It kind of just sets you up uh, to be in communication, not with just us, but with the entire Notre Dame community 
um, so you can learn more about how excited we are to see you, about all the resources and information that we're excited to share with you, um, and to, to allow us to, to be in communication with you, to hear your questions, to hear your feedback, and to hopefully respond in, in a helpful way. So that's the most immediate step is kind of establishing that line of connection and communication so that we can walk with you these next couple months. Yeah. What was email like for you in the summertime last year? Yeah, so that's like the first official step into getting to Notre Dame. It's a big deal, right? Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> um, they bring it to your personal email and like you're logging in and it's like this interface of just the golden dome. It makes it like so real and like so welcoming, but basically like it's really easy. You just have to set up set it up with the uh, username that they give you and then you set up your password and that will link you to everything Notre Dame from like your email uh, to the Canvas page, which is like the main interface that the uh, professors here use and so it just makes you become official it's like the first step into becoming <laughs> yeah. like irish being it's cool to see the little email. md in the corner right where it's yeah. like yeah yeah <laughs> it's like like one of the first logos that you see um and it like you'll use it and it'll be very helpful for you like coming into notre dame so yeah that was my experience just making it really official awesome yeah and so do you have any like advice on like what's next for uh, steps on advising? Yeah, yeah, I could tackle that. So um, kind of advising in Notre Dame looks and feels really personal. So it starts in the summertime and will continue throughout your entire time in Notre Dame. And specifically, I work on behalf of first year advising, which has its own distinct kind of flavor. Um, in broad strokes, the way to think about the summertime and specifically kind of like what's next with advising are kind of like three big movements, right? So if you think about May, um, all new students will receive a what we call a pre-advising survey, which is an opportunity for us to learn a little bit more about your background, kind of what high school looked like for you, and more specifically and, and importantly, like what your interests are and, and what you value and what you want your learning to, at Notre Dame to really look like. And maybe even some like preliminary goals that you have for your scholarship. Um, and so all that information is kind of taken and for movement two, You'll work with the first year advisor to explore all the optional courses for you, the ones that kind of make the most sense with what you're interested in and kind of what you want to accomplish, as well as some areas that you might want to explore and, and not know a lot about, but you're curious about. And a lot of that's through online resources, through our website, through a number of things um, that you'll get via email, your Notre Dame email from your advisor, um, as well as a one-on-one -on -one Zoom meeting with your first year advisor to specifically address questions that you have some nuts and bolts of registration and, and things like that and, and requirements and credits. Um, but most importantly, to, to walk kind of hand in hand virtually with a real life person who is just eager to invite you into a deeper understanding of yourself and your values and, and what really sets you on fire and specifically like how that might integrate with the robust learning opportunities at Notre Dame and, and really set you up for a uh, a coherent kind of scholarship as a first year student at Notre Dame that makes the most sense for you. Um, so I talked about kind of setting that, that initial survey, working with a, a first year advisor, and then the last movement for the summertime at the end of July is registering for courses at Notre Dame, which is something that's, that's really exciting. Um, and it looks a little different than, than what you might have done in high school. So that takes place at the end of July. And during those, um, that actual registration time, you're working hand in hand with a first year advisor, as well as like a whole team of, of kind of resources and, um, and students and, um, and administrators who can walk you through that process, answer any questions that you have. And then they also kind of check for it, check for you afterwards to make sure that everything makes sense. And um, it's a nice little safety net um, to um, allow for any changes or tweaks in between when you register and when you arrive on campus. And there's also a little bit of time after you arrive as well um, just to make sure that all your courses line up with, with what makes the most sense for you, um, both as a student and as a young man and woman who's kind of juggling a lot of things um, during this time of transition. So those are the three big swaps uh, for the summertime. And that kind of relationship of discernment and exploration and support continues from your first year advisor throughout your entire um, first year at Notre Dame. So, so Sophia, you've been working with a first year advisor. What was summer like? And then what was maybe the academic year like? Yeah, so I kind of had an advantage of like networking with advisors here. Um, a lot of the teachers that I had uh, during my summer uh, program was first year advisors. And so they were able to walk me through it if, in case I did have any uh, 
questions on how to go about like course registration. Really what's helpful when planning and like talking with my advisor was not only just meeting with them on campus because I had that advantage, but watching the videos that they had online. Like my advisor uh, had like an intro letter to what she was interested in, what she was involved in, but also how she could help me. And so, yes, although you, like you, the student, can have like the ability to make your schedule, if there's something missing from your schedule, your advisor has you covered. So you don't have to really This is worry. what they do. <laughs> yeah, this is their job. We're, they're here to help. So, yeah, um, the whole like registration process may seem stressful, but like as long as you inform with yourself with the resources that they're given um, and just like walk away from the schedule and know that your advisor will handle it for you, um, you should be in good hands. Like just take that first initiative to inform yourself on what are the core curriculum? What is like the really pressing subjects that you need to take for your first year? And what's also that you're interested in? Don't take classes just to take classes and meet the requirement. Take classes that you're interested in because that will in the long term um, benefit you and inform like what major that you really want to take or the career that you want to pursue. It's all like a learning process. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I don't plug you, Sophia, as well. She mentioned some of the resources that are useful for, for registration. And Sophia is a part of our, our intern team for the summertime. So you'll, you'll recognize her face because she's going to be a lot of those videos kind of helping you register and pointing out some transition tips for, for Notre Dame as well. So regardless of how familiar you are with Notre Dame or university life or courses or the core curriculum, um, or even how ready you feel to leave home and kind of enter into uncharted territory in northern Indiana. Um, we have kind of like a whole team of students who have been there and recently and, and had really succeeded um, and professional staff and faculty who are just eager to love you and to accompany you and, and have expert knowledge to, to offer you. And again, this is what they do. They signed up for this and this is really what gives them life. Yes, exactly. And so with advising, maybe you want us to take a step back from all the academics. What are some like first year expectancies going forward, maybe in the summer that they can plan for? Do you have any advice on that? Yeah, that's a great question, Sophia. So I think um, 10 minutes in, I hope that we've learned our email is super important <laughs> and that help is always available here on campus. So um, we're going to continue to expand on that. But yes, yeah, so kind of following this communication um, throughout the summer, starting May through August, you will be getting lots of communication from the academic side, but also the co-curricular side of things. And so what does that look like? Um, you will get welcome emails from the different student services office on campus. And so learning about what kind of resources and services they offer, but also this intentional welcome. Um, and they also let you know what's going on those first couple weeks um, on campus and how you can get involved in their programs um, during your time here at Notre Dame. Um, I will say it's a lot of different emails coming at you. Um, and again, email is a, is a way you're gonna learn things and get communication. Um, but do not worry about memorizing everything. Um, during Welcome Weekend, which we'll talk about here shortly, you will be reintroduced to all these resources and you'll, you will continue to be introduced to these resources during um, your time here at Notre Dame, especially that first year. So lots of emails, lots of information. Um, take a look at them, though, because they have some really um, awesome um, opportunities and ways you can get involved on campus. Yeah. So thank you for that. There's a lot of emails coming in, so really check your email. That's like very important. Um, with Welcome Weekend, what does that look like? Yeah, good call. So Welcome Weekend, as it might sound, is kind of your gateway into life as a student at Notre Dame. Um, and it's really an opportunity for our current community to celebrate you and to, to authentically encounter you and your gifts, your knowledge, your background, your family, um, even some of your, your imperfections and, and all the ways that you may, even unknowingly right now, right, kind of change Notre Dame and, and make us better. So it's a giant celebration. Um, it's in, by no means a comprehensive introduction to all things Notre Dame, which is pretty hard to do in, in a weekend um, and in many respects takes a lifetime. I'm still learning a lot about Notre Dame. Um, but what it does do really well is introduce you and, and hopefully inspire you to engage with what we care about here, which is namely that we believe teaching and learning takes place in genuine and communion, uh, genuine and, and meaningful communion with others. And so those relationships span across campus, right? So with your, with your roommate, with your first year advisor, with a faculty member, with a staff member, and that takes all kind of shapes and forms, but 
that relationship and that sense of belonging and matteredness and trust is the currency that we, we use here on campus. And so establishing the beginnings of that trust and that sense of home is what the weekend is all about. Um, practically speaking, um, it, it might be useful to imagine Welcome Weekend as a sense of like expanding circles, right? This is kind of what helps me. Um, so you think about Friday, which is the first day of Welcome Weekend, as, as the smallest circle. Think about the most kind of like immediate, urgent, and perhaps even most intimate kind of relationships would be with you, your family, who's helping you move into to campus, perhaps, your roommate and your roommate's family, and the folks who are sleeping on the other side of the wall from you and, and what this kind of residential life looks like at Notre Dame, which is really kind of a hallmark of our community. I know Emily and, and Sophia can speak much more about that. Um, but if you think about that smallest circles, how do we begin to plant seeds of, of belongingness and, and knowing of, of trust and, um, and love within that most kind of like smallest intimate home on campus? And, and we'll start with that small circle and on Saturday and, and Sunday and Monday and throughout the entire kind of first couple weeks of, of the year. We'll expand that circle to include academic communities, uh, colleges and schools, students who have similar kind of academic or intellectual intellectual interests as you. Um, and then eventually our entire student body, right, who's returned back from campus or from summer to campus with the just like diversity of opportunities to learn and to know and to be on campus um, and to, to really grow into young men and women with hope to bring. And so if you think of kind of like starting small and, and starting intimate so that it's not so intimidating and, and a bit too much to swallow at first, even though it's a packed weekend, um, mm -hmm. that might be helpful in thinking about kind of starting um, with the most urgent and the most immediate and expanding beyond that to, to eventually kind of plant these seeds that will bloom, like bloom within, within a couple of weeks. So that's one way to think about it, although we can kind of get into specifics as well. What was Welcome Week weekend like for you, Sophia? <laughs> um, Welcome Weekend for me, let's see. I, unlike other students, I already had somewhat of a gist of like the location of where things are. Um, but bringing my family into campus, I could see like with other students and their families, it's okay to use uh, your phone to search up where this specific hall is <laughs> or certain locations. It's fine. Um, it's a really big campus but you'll get to know your way around. I know that during Welcome Weekend, people had like a lot of pressure to like make friends. And in my opinion, I feel like the people that you should first focus on is like in your hall, your roommate, and like spending time with your family because those are, you're, you're not gonna see your family for majority of the year. Um, it's gonna be a huge transition. So like try to make a home with both the new community that you'll live in, you'll have time to do that. And you'll also have time to make friends. You don't have to feel pressured that everyone is already making like friends with each other. Like, uh, feel free like, to just slow down with your family. Um, yeah, and so like the whole schedule is very jam packed. You can choose to attend the events. A lot of them are very helpful. So getting to attend most of them um, is like a good idea. And also, especially the ones with your family. So that's how it was for me. I feel like putting family first in front of it would be a, like a good idea to have because you won't see them too much after all, uh, after that. So, yeah. Yeah, that sounds really wise. Emily, you want to talk a little bit more about Welcome Weekend? Yeah, I would love to. I love Welcome Weekend. Maybe it's because it's my job, but um, <laughs> it's a really um, fun time on campus. There's a lot of really good energy, and I think it's really special for faculty, staff, and upperclassmen to welcome um, new students and their parents and guests to campus. And so as you kind of picked up, it's a very busy weekend, um, but it's hopefully a weekend where you can find a sense of belonging and start to learn about your time here at Notre Dame. Um, so I wanted to highlight some of the larger traditional events that we have, and I would love for Sophia to give her advice as well and kind of talk through which were her favorite events to attend. Um, so move in is the first big thing you encounter. So you're going to move into your residence halls, which are super important. Um, this is going to be your community, um, the place you call home. So it's really fun to get to meet your hall staff um, and get to meet the upperclassmen in the community. Um, we have the University Welcome, which is led by our university leadership and just kind of this greater welcome to the Notre Dame community, um, learning about your holistic journey you're about to encounter on. Um, the Moreau First Year Experience course that Andrew and I get to co-direct together, um, you get to meet as a class twice throughout the weekend and really learn about the course um, and what its purpose is, um, having those 
um, deep and meaningful conversation, but also finding that smaller community in your class environments. Um, we have Domer Fest, um, which is um, a highlight for many students. Um, so that happens on Saturday night, and we're really grateful for our partners in student activities that host this. And it's kind of a big festival with um, music and food trucks and games and, and just a really fun time where um, you are interacting with the entire first year class and new students. Um, the first trip to the grotto is a really special traditional event that we have, um, something that you'll actually do when you're graduating the last trip to the grotto. So it's a really meaningful, peaceful time to come together during kind of this craziness, chaotic um, weekend and to gather in a place that so many find comfort um, and peace at and hear reflections from um, faculty, staff and students about their time and how they utilize the grotto. And so um, those are some of some of the big things that happen. Um, we have a welcome mass as well. So we gather with um, new students and their guests and gather together and celebrate the liturgy, which is really beautiful. Um, and just so many other things. I think too, like the first uh, lecture series is fun too, to kind of learn again, this academic side of things and inter interact with a lot of um, really well-respected faculty members that lead those. Um, so again, very, a lot of moving pieces. Um, something that's new this year because we know it is a crazy and kind of chaotic busy weekend is adding these rest and reflection times into the weekend where students are able just to take a step back and breathe for a second, take a nap if you need to, kind of a do nothing period um, because we want you to know that it's okay to take a step back um, um, during kind of the hustle and bustle as you're transitioning into this new new journey. And so we're excited to see that, um, to hopefully allow people to take a minute. Um, and yeah, so lots of fun things. Those are just some of the bigger highlights and events. Um, we'll hopefully have a more detailed schedule um, coming to the website very soon that will kind of list all the events, um, and there are certain ones that are required, which will indicate on the website. So um, we're excited to, to share that with you. Um, and yeah, Sophia, maybe talk a little bit about what were your favorite events um, and why, and yeah. Okay, my favorite events, like there was a lot of events. Um, <laughs> Hard to remember, right? Packed into yeah. One yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, like, I'll try to list a few. So my one of my favorite ones was, um, I think, the university welcome, like everyone, like your whole class is just in uh, wherever the location will be. And the dean is speaking, like these different people, important people are speaking and <laughs> like kind of, they're kind of telling your parents that your child is going away, <laughs> like say goodbye. This is where like their life begins. And it's like really nice in a way where um, like, yeah, it becomes real that you're at the school now and like, you're not going to be sleeping in your own bed. Like this is not high school anymore. Like you're here for three years at least to uh, be in your residential dorms that are, that's required. But yeah, so I think that was a very emotional experience with like saying goodbye um, through that university welcome. And then I think what my Moreau, uh, like just meeting during the weekend was really helpful because with the, uh, the schedule that you have, you don't meet with your academic five courses uh, during Welcome Weekend. And Moreau is the one thing that you get to get primed in. And so the people in your class, it's a kind of like a small class um, and they're near your dorm. So you get to like build a community from not only in your dorm, but the surrounding dorms. And so I guess getting to talk with um, my peers that I would be seeing around campus who kind of live near me, it's kind of a foundation to make friends in a way. Um, so that was really nice. And that, what, that was what made me like Moreau more because of that, that nice easing into uh, the curriculum and academic life. Um, and then I think just moving uh, was like really jam packed. I think <laughs> you really need to pay attention to your emails because that's how you kind of get to know like where, what hall am I going? Like, what does the rector say I need to do? Like, and they assign you the floors and like your time and slots to move in. So that's really important. Um, and kind of my favorite event only because I got to move in and see my roommate's um, family. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of like built a bond. Um, yeah. And so those are like my kind of my favorite events. Domer Fest, it's up there. <laughs> um, <laughs> mixed feelings. Yeah, the people have mixed feelings about it. But I think like. The well, your crew time, had rain last year, right? We did. That was a very different Domer Fest. So we had to move everything inside the Duncan <laughs> Student Center. But I think we made the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard from others, uh, like,
grade levels are like, oh yeah, we had it outside. But then I was like, we had ours inside, but I got to see a ballroom that Notre Dame had. I didn't know that Notre Dame had ballrooms within the campus. That was new. Um, and the plus side is that they had free food. So yeah, <laughs> you can never go wrong with free food. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, so. at this point, we can turn over to to a couple questions. We have a, a, a boatload of, of some pre-submitted questions. So thank you for all of you who have registered and, and sent some in. And I know Ashley and, and our team on the other side of the door over there are, are answering some live as well. I actually have one that has been inspired by some of your questions, Sophia. So I don't mean to put you on the spot, but <laughs> especially thinking about Welcome Weekend, you've mentioned the importance of family and kind of prioritizing walking through those kind of couple days or hours specifically with your family and getting a chance to meet your roommate's family and things like that. I guess I just want you to speak a little bit more about maybe f imagining your family's kind of perspective and experience of Welcome Weekend. What was that like? What was it like kind of saying goodbye? What was really hard? What was really kind of easy? I imagine we have a lot of students with their family watching tonight. And so maybe just some wisdom from someone who's been there before of what you felt and, and what you struggled with or what you found a real blessing in. Yeah. So for Welcome Weekend, it's jam-packed and sometimes you can like lose your way into things like, yeah, your prioritization might be like, let me make my friends leave me alone. Like, <laughs> I want to move in. I need to like get grounded. But I think looking at it from a step back and like looking at my Welcome Weekend from my family's view, I think like saying goodbye was like the hardest part because there's events going on and families like slowly leave while the events are still going on during Welcome Weekend. Um, my own was kind of dramatic. They, <laughs> we had like our last dinner uh, off campus and then they were dropping me back to my hall and my hall was like having this little like they were making headbands for Lions Hall because Lions, right? So Lions headbands and I was like trying to get to the event, but like that was the last time I was to say goodbye. And it was like a rainy weekend, kind of. And so what happened when they dropped me uh, back on campus was like, it was raining. <laughs> and I had to walk back to my hall in the rain. A little dramatic, but it was very- Very dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like very touching because it was like, like giving me all the advice, like, oh, Missy, you do good. Like, I don't care what major you take, just, you know, do what you love and make sure to make friends. You know, we trust you. I am the oldest in my family. So it's kind of like, it's like the first thing for all the firsts. So it's very interesting. Um, and like not a lot of people from like where I live, I'm from Guam. Um, not a lot of people really go off island for college. So it's like a very um, important thing for my family. And so, yeah, like just welcome weekend through like my family's perspective. I would say like to a student, like spend time with your family, but also say goodbye to everyone uh, from your hometown because sometimes like you'll forget to say goodbye. Um, <laughs> so make sure you say goodbye. Um, and yeah, just like make those moments last. Sometimes um, they give out like these bracelets, uh, Notre Dame bracelets. And so maybe like giving those home, sending them away with that would be like a nice piece. So yeah. And I just like to add to that, just about how families are involved in welcoming. Yeah, community. we actually so, have a question specifically about kind of what does that what does that schedule look like between what do students do with their families, what do families do by themselves, what do students do by themselves. So I think perfect. that's a great way. Yeah, <laughs> that is a great question. Um, so welcome weekend for first year students would start Friday and go to Monday, and so um, we have family guest programming Friday and Saturday. And so when we share the schedule on the website, we have little emoji icons that indicate what is student only or family families and guests are allowed to attend. And so I would say those events happen Friday, Saturday. We conclude with the university um, or with, with the welcome mass, um, which we encourage uh, families to start saying goodbye to their students so they can kind of start embarking on this this beautiful uh, adulthood journey that they're they're about to start. And so um, Saturday night kind of shifts into more student focused programming. Um, so I would say all day Friday and then most of the day Saturday are going to be um, majority of the programs minus Moreau class and some other um, moving parts are going to be just specifically for students, which again will be communicated through our website when we share the schedule. Gotcha. Yeah. And before we, we kind of move on, there's a couple of questions here I think that are, are really useful, um, specifically about move in and welcome weekend. But thinking about this relationship between the student and, and the, the family, I, I got two little boys at home. So just imagining kind of dropping off a, a student at a school and trusting that 
they'll be taken care of and that they'll grow into an amazing young woman. Um, it's just a tremendous gift. So I just want to call attention to that and, and just to, to any parents or grandparents or guardians who are watching the enormous responsibility that you've given Notre Dame to, to really kind of co-parent and to be a part of, of your family and your students' formation and development is, gosh, just a, a big responsibility and a big duty and a, and a big blessing. And so thank you um, for, for allowing us to, that blessing of, of being a part of your child's life. Because um, that's something, yeah. But specifically, okay, about, about Welcome Weekend. We, we mentioned move in and we kind of glazed over a little bit, but let's dig dive, dive deep in there into like, what does it actually look like? What can, what can we... Uh, prepare for? How hot is it? Is it always going to rain? Um, what are the kind of like nuts and bolts of that? So Emily, maybe from a programmatics kind of thinking about what, yeah. what, what can a family and a student kind of anticipate experiencing? Where do they go? What happens for move-in? Yeah. So um, you will, again, email. Uh, you'll be <laughs> getting emails and communication from Residential Life about signing up for a move-in slot. So that all will be communicated to you multiple times throughout the summer. And so when you come to campus on Friday, again, faculty, staff are in these parking lots. So we call them staging lots. And you will report to the staging lot you are directed to. So you'll get that, again, via email of where you need to report to, um, depending on the time that that you you receive for your move-in slot you'll report there and then they'll go ahead and release you to go to to the hall and it is just such a an amazing uh atmosphere there's lots of music and cheering and <laughs> and our student leaders that help out in the halls for welcome weekend are called the saint andre committee members and so the saint andre committee members for each hall are outside in their hall t-shirts with their flags with music just like cheering people on they're like hey are you in lines like they coming up to your window like it's just this really beautiful welcoming um experience and so you'll pull up um, there, there will be ushers there making sure you get to the right place. You'll pull up and honestly, and I would love to hear your experience. Like we have student leaders that really help like move you in. So, um, they have moving carts, so they'll be there ready to go. They're like, Sophia, welcome. Like, let's go. And they'll start moving stuff, putting them in the moving carts, um, go up to your room and, and help you get settled. Um, you're going to meet hall staff, specifically your hall rector, which is going to be such a huge resource for you during your time at um, Notre Dame. Um, and so, yeah, I think it's as organized as it can be. Um, there's a very good system there. So it's like staging lots. You move in or you you head to your hall, you check in with hall staff, you you fill out a couple forms, you get your key or in your ID card, and then you get to start moving in and meet your roommates and meet upperclassmen, meet your RAs, um, and really start um, moving in and living into the community. Um, I don't know if you have anything else um, kind of perspective-wise I didn't um, didn't talk through. Um, yeah, you like pretty much touched up on everything. <laughs> <laughs> like Hmm. For welcome weekend, I guess like, yeah, you ha like get the time slots to move in. For me, when I moved in, I remember like my aunt parked the car and then like, we just, they're like, oh, you're in Lions. And they're like, what's your name? And then I, I got my room number um, and I told them what room number I was. And they, as soon as like we opened the back door to like uh, move in everything, they took it for me. Like <laughs> Lions Hall does not have an elevator. And like the car that we parked was on the basement floor and my floor was on the first floor. And so we don't have an elevator and they were hauling like heavy stuff <laughs> up the stairs for me. And so really like, if you don't have a lot of hands on deck, there's hands on deck for you. There will be help there. And like the students are really like excited to help move you in. Um, even with like the furniture uh, given provided by Notre Dame, they'll help you move that in as well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you like need help with any configurations or inspirations on ideas on how that looks like, like there are people who have lived there or have, uh, they had experience already. So they can help uh, move that in uh, for you. And so really you're you're pretty much provided for really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very welcoming community as soon as like you enter campus. And I just like talking to faculty and staff that volunteer and help out in the staging lots. Um, they have, uh, they come up, go up to your car windows and engage in conversation and really have those intentional conversations with you. Like, where are you from? Like, what hall are you going to be in? And so they look forward to that and they just, they, they get so excited as we all do to welcome our new students and their families um, to the Notre Dame family. So it is. And there are people like who specifically come to campus just to be yeah. on campus for move-in day. Yeah. This is something really special. Yeah. 
we had a question here kind of a, a, a related to, to what we're chatting here about the specific dates of welcome weekend. So we mentioned Friday and Saturday and, and Sunday a couple of times. So Friday, August 18th is our tentative move in date for, for first year students and the start of welcome weekend. Um, and then you can kind of find the rest of the dates from the 19th, the 20th, the 21st and the 22nd uh, moving from August. Um, this one is about kind of roommates. Um, when do folks find out about their roommate and, and what's that like? Um, I know the technical answer, but Sophia, I'd love to hear kind of what your experience of, of the summer was. When did you find out about your roommate and what was that like? And what advice too would you get yeah. when you find that out? I think that's important too. Okay. So uh, I was in class actually <laughs> <laughs> when it came out. And so our professor like knew there was some excitement with us first years. Um, <laughs> and we're like, don't use your phone. Don't look at your phone. You have to focus on chemistry right now. But as soon as like <laughs> class like was over, everyone was like, check in like check wait what hall are you in and we're all like texting in the group chat what hall we're in basically you get it through email first of course <laughs> um you uh get a link to uh, what the site um and it'll tell you what hall as well as what uh room and who your roommates are and so with that um it'll tell you yeah what room and you'll get either two Oh, no, sorry, one, one roommate, so you're in a double, or you can get two, that means you're in a triple, or you get three roommates, so, and you're in a quad, um, and that's the typical, like, uh, first year rooming situation, um, and with me, I got three roommates, and they provide the email after. If not, you can also just search up their name on Notre Dame's uh, email, because that's where everyone's LinkedIn, uh, too, and so you can reach out first through email to your roommates, and then wait for them to respond, uh, for me and my roommates, we yeah emailed and then uh, shared contact information. Uh, it's like kind of weird with different situations. A lot of us were from actually different countries. So we're like, what platforms do you use? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, you don't have Instagram? Like, okay, we'll download Instagram. Um, so, yeah, it's just, uh, it's very interesting to learn about each other. Um, and advice that I'd give to like reaching out is really just to like introduce yourselves. Like, hey, I'm Sophia, I'm, I'm from wherever interested in this not just like hey i'm your roommate because <laughs> i know there were some situations like that just like be friendly overall um i know one of my roommates was actually from here in indiana and like their their family invited us out and so like that was like very welcoming like just the whole thing about not notre dame but also like here in indiana it's a very welcoming community so yeah like move in was great and so was like trying to find out your roommates and where what dorm you live in yeah <laughs> Emily, anything to add as, as a former rector? I, yes, I'm putting back my rector hat for a second. <laughs> I want to emphasize on communication with your roommates. Um, it's really important to um, start communicating with them um, as soon as you can to get to know one another um, and start talking about who's bringing what and what does that look like and kind of making a plan of action for when you move in. Um, I would also advise that you wait till everyone is getting moved in to kind of determine what things will look like because you are living with others. And so it's really important to make sure um, we're remembering that um, and including everyone in that conversation when we are sharing um, sharing a shared space and you'll continue to learn that as you live in your room but also you're living in this hall community where you're sharing a lot of the same things so um i just want to emphasize that and um it's it's really cool to see i feel like every year the communication becomes stronger and people are like we're best friends already like we've talked every day um which is really exciting um, we're back in the day we just wrote letters to each other. i know right <laughs> <See you there. laughs> yeah so i know it's a really exciting time um and we i would say by I, um, you know, kind of mid-July, you'll get that information sent to you. And, and Residential Life does such a great job on communicating that to you um, and giving you the information you need. Yeah, yeah. So I'll just add to it a couple questions about kind of professors' availability during Welcome Weekend. And inspired by our, kind of our, a lot of our conversation about roommates and the importance of, of residential life, one of my favorite elements of Welcome Weekend is actually the, the very last kind of programmed event, which will take place on Monday night, which we call the Faculty Pep Talk. Um, and it's kind of advice for your first week of school. Um, and so it's it's hosted in the dorm and uh, it's kind of facilitated by a faculty member who's a spe specifically, specifically affiliated with your residence hall community. So they may even live there or they may um, just be really involved in the events and the programs that your hall um, puts on. And it's an opportunity for first year students to kind of ask the questions that haven't been answered yet throughout Welcome Weekend. Some of them are like, somewhat silly or they sound kind of silly but are, can be really urgent and really important like 
what do I wear to class? Or like, what if I have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> what does the syllabus mean? What are office hours and how do I really utilize them? Um, to, to really serious ones about like, this is a, a, a preeminent scholar, scholar in front of you who's kind of opted into working with undergraduates and, and in some respects, like living with undergraduates. And so learning a little bit about their, their story and how they might serve as a mentor for you is important as well. So, so professors and faculty are, are throughout Welcome Weekend, but that's one of my specific kind of favorite events about that. Uh, we are getting kind of towards the end here. So I think we have time for one more question. And I guess I'm thinking about maybe just the terms of um, kind of like the summer in general. Um, what advice might you have, Sophia, for an incoming first year student who's excited about Notre Dame, but is still maybe like three months away from moving in, right? Mm -hmm. um, what should this summer look like for him or her? All right, so advice for incoming first years. Well, just to pitch in, I actually have this project going on that actually asks students, like, what advice that you want to give to first years? You can yes, you got all this. Yeah, back your head. <laughs> you can find that at uh, Notre Dame first year at Instagram. <laughs> That'll be coming up soon. <laughs> but for me personally, um, it would be to just really do what you enjoy. Like, and you have to, like, tap into your interests. I know like during my fall semester, I took classes that I needed to take. And so my comparison between fall and right now spring, I'm finding it like way easier to just do what I enjoy and take classes that I was actually interested in. Um, and not just because uh, they're required because there you can fulfill a requirement for your college, for your major that you're interested in. Like you don't have to just take one that just fits your schedule. Um, so yeah, like really just do what you enjoy. I know maybe some students might be a little bit worried. Like, I don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know what major I want. I've changed majors. That's most of us. Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> your major does not really equal your career. It just really take what you're interested in. Um, I'm still, I'm an English major right now, but I'm also thinking of uh, picking up political science because I want to get involved with my community back home. But I'm also taking nursing prerequisites here in Notre Dame, which isn't a degree that they offer here, but you can still make a path for yourself if you want to like go to law school, medical school, anything really. You can, there are classes here and like really what they say here in Notre Dame is like, if you can dream it, it'll happen. So take advantage of the opportunities and resources that like Notre Dame has. It's very beneficial and it's like a prestigious opportunity it's an honor to be here um and you don't want to like miss out on what there is to offer yeah gosh well said <laughs> emily anything to add uh, I, everything <laughs> Sophia has said i just think yes embark on the many many opportunities and resources we have here on campus um and do not hesitate to reach out because everyone here cares so much about you and so um, starting, you know, in the summer while you're getting emails, don't hesitate to reach out if we can be helpful or other offices and departments that you're hearing from. Um, but we're just so excited to welcome yeah. you to campus in the fall. And we also think, I, like, from, especially from, from this end, have the, the luxury of kind of the long view, right, where we're thinking about you coming into the Notre Dame community and being a part of us, our undergraduate community for four years and then being alumni. And, and this is a lifelong endeavor, right? And so a lot of, like, the urgent needs um, – are, are important and significant. And that's why we're having a what's next Indie Live event. Um, but I also encourage, in, as well as um, Sophia and, and Emily offered to, to engage, but also to, to really use this time to spend time with your family and with your high school friends and to, to really celebrate all you've accomplished so far and, and the relationships that have formed you and the things that are really important to you in your hometown. Um, and to so as best of your ability, right, to, to keeping up with the email and to being ready to, to join here, um, to just soak in this, this somewhat turbulent time of transition because it, it comes once in a lifetime, right? Um, so, so enjoy it as best you can and, and celebrate it and really, um, yeah, be proud of what, what you've done so far. So for those of you um, who are joining us, uh, thank you for sticking through us in the evening. We're looking so forward to exciting to you. We're looking forward to, to engaging with you this summer. Uh, you'll start getting emails from us in, in early May, and they'll just keep on coming um, for the rest of the summer. Um, and we'll look forward to, to welcoming you in person in August. Go Irish. Good night. Thank you.